So the trade of the day in the trade on Friday is tick pullback E-mini NASDAQ. On Friday, this one had an order rejected, so we're working on that. You did have the opportunity to get in here and here at a better price. And so on Friday, this strategy was up 29.35 on the E-mini NASDAQ. Today, it's up 1,500 on the E-mini NASDAQ. And oftentimes, you have to wonder uh, when you see a big, huge gap up like this, is the opportunity over for the day. It seems like, um, you know, from a pricing perspective, that it would be a good idea to try to short this. And it's possible that the market could roll over, but it's we're in a runaway market. It's very hard to short. And so the trade to look at right now is to buy breakouts and buy dips. And today, buying the dips obviously has the most profit because you get in at better prices when you buy dips. Uh, one thing you risk when you buy dips is that um, the market might not dip and if it does run away too far. But today, uh, the market dipped enough so that tick pullback is the trade of the day and the trade on Friday. And it's it's one, one strategy that I anticipate. It hasn't traded as much lately because the VIX has been above 35. We adjusted this so that it only trades when the VIX is below 35. But if this market continues in runaway mode and you see the NASDAQ now right around 400 points, 425 points from the February highs. It almost becomes a magnet and would not be surprised to see continuous gap ups and, you know, until it gets there. And so how would you catch that runaway market one way? Intraday is tick pullback. Let's look at some of the other strategies on the day. This also trades the even S&P, which is up 887.50 today. It lost on Friday. This one has a $500 stop loss. And the NASDAQ has a $700 stop loss. And this one just got stopped out the lows on Friday. So a bigger stop loss would have done better on Friday in hindsight. Um, let's look at the trades. AT2019 plus 625. AT2020 NQ minus 725. Stop loss was a little too tight on this one. And we have uh, tick count trend plus 70. Also getting in on the pullback. We have, um, let's look at all strategy XS1. Cobra 3, Emini NASDAQ, buying strength, minus 85 on this trade, minus 6250 on the Emini S&P, buying strength. Um, you have adaptive moving average, plus 175 intraday. Night trader, profitable last night after two losses in a row. It had 12 winners in a row, then two losses in a row, and now it's back. It broke that two trade losing streak. It's profitable last night, plus 675. And you have gap continuation. Right around break even, uh, minus 50 on the day. First trade was a loser. This one has a tight stop loss. Um, and you have stock index swing in Q, plus 475 on the day. Hit its profit target. And so these are the runaway markets. And these are the way to trade stock indexes. We'll go over all the other trades in another video. But big, big news today as Jerome Powell, the Federal Reserve Chairman, was on 60 Minutes last night saying that there is no limit as to what we can do and the market is just in runaway mode um, and, you know, there's QE and loans. Uh, you know, the, the Federal Reserve can work in two different capacities. They can buy assets, which they're doing, and offer low interest rate loans uh, through loan processing facilities and they're doing that as well. And so just a Bazooka of stimulus driving the stock market higher, regardless of the economy, and these these are where we are today. So when you get a uh, we didn't talk about 60 minute breakout that also was profitable last night. It had two winners here, uh, followed by a loss there, and then another winner here. And so if you want to make sure you catch a move, a breakout strategy, a gap continuation strategy, we'll catch that. Um, and then night trader traded in the night. So. Those are the trades on the day, taking advantage of this runaway market, and we see most of the trend happening at night, so you have to make sure you have strategies like 60-minute breakout and night trader as well.